hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you around my backyard garden and i'm going to do some planting and strawberry harvest so my backyard garden is full of veggies and flowers and lots of food bushes and you can see it is nice and full looking lush and it is providing bountiful harvest of strawberries starting june so starting here along this fence which is south facing i have got two grapevines in these containers and i have plans to train these grapevines along this wire cable which i have put in place so these grapevines are still young plants so it will take a couple of years for them to mature and fill this uh, cable and you can see i have planted them underneath with fancy plants and there's a snapdragon plant from last year which i mainly use for cutting and here are my anemone bulbs which are done so i need to dig them out in this container i have got one scabious plant and more are coming soon so they are in greenhouse and i'll be planting them in this container my fox gloves from last year are coming back and looking good and here are my chili and pepper plants in 5 liter containers so this chili plant has got some fruit starting and two planters with dahlia plants which i started from seed so they are still young uh, i don't have any room left for them so i just put them in this container to see how long they go and more chili pepper and egg plants these plants were nipped badly and they were like stunted for a month or so during the cold nights in the spring but they have started to recover now and this is my East Valley apple tree. It has got a couple of fruit and it is looking good. And this is my loganberry and raspberry bush. They are absolutely full of fruit, lots of berries on them. They are still young and unripe. Hopefully they will ripe towards the end of June, in the beginning of July, so we can have a good raspberry and loganberry harvest. And by then the strawberries will finish. And here is my um, blackberry bush which is in this container this is quite empty at the bottom but it has got some leaves and fruit set at the top so not a lot but a little bit of blackberry harvest towards august so here in this container i have got three zucchini plants which i'm trying to grow vertically so i made this topiary with bamboo sticks and here is my strawberry tower which is going good it is three years old now and it is still bearing lots of food and my rose plant which i am trying to train up this garden arch my bag of strawberry plants and they are bearing food as well and everything is looking good and here is plum tree which is a dwarf variety and it has got lots of fruit and i have got this in a container because this is a dwarf variety self fertile variety and this is the first year it is bearing fruit so we'll see how it tastes and the other plum tree which is in my front yard is loaded with fruit and here is the wooden lattice raised bed where i have got all the june bearing strawberry plants there are 15 to 16 plants in here and they are all loaded with strawberries we are harvesting them every day nearly a pound of strawberries every day and i'm quite happy with all my strawberry plants how they are growing and i'm quite happy that i have a good mix of june bedding strawberry plants and ever bedding i have got them in raised bed in containers in grow bag everywhere where i can put them here is my mint planter and it has got lots of mint this is three years old as well there are some weirds which i keep pulling them out as i see them so this is my main tip to stay on top of the weeds that never let them go as soon as you see a weed no matter small how small it is pull it out and discard it and in this raised bed i have got garlic there's soft neck and hard neck varieties and i think it is almost ready because we have quite a warm spring uh, apart from the cold nights and some of them are quite thick and some are not as thick as i would like it to be but there's plenty of uh, garlic in here and i planted some um, rubecchia plants as well here and once i harvest my garlic i have the plants to fill this raised bed with corn plants sweet corns and on this side in this raised bed i have got this radish plant which i let it to go seed so i can collect seeds and it looks beautiful it has 
this ethereal quality to it very small beautiful white flowers and it is loaded with pollinators all the time it provides lots of food for the pollinators and insects and it is starting to form pods it forms small reddish pods which taste sweet and you can use them in cooking i have got a whole video on harvesting reddish pods which i will include the link in the description box here is my recently platinum paracantha which i am trying to train up this side of garden are so this is evergreen and it has got beautiful white flowers which turn into these orange berries so the plan is to fill this arch with rose and paracantha so it will look good all the year round here is another crop planter with more strawberry plants in it and on the other side of the raised bed i have got a row of ever bearing strawberry plants which keep producing throughout the summer as long as it's not too wet or cold and it has starting to produce lots of berries as well so these berries are a bit smaller than june bearing but they are good to taste and you can keep harvesting them throughout the summer so all these strawberry plants i started from one strawberry plant and you never get too many strawberry plants you can squeeze them in every single space you have in your garden next to strawberries i have got lots of lettuce which is starting to bulk up now and it is like common cut again you can keep cutting it and then it will grow more and here are my garden peas which i'm trying to train up this netting they keep falling on this side because of the wind we have had quite a lot of wind these days it has got lots of pea pods and soon they will plump up and ready to harvest towards the end of june then i can plant cucumbers in their place so this is how we use our garden space to its maximum potential through succession planting so one crop is done and the other crop is ready to go in its place and use the space wisely and plan ahead to decide which crop will go where and let some of the crops go to seed so you can collect your own seed and it is good for pollinators as well here's another turnip plant which i let it go to seed and it is nice and loaded with pollinators looking good and it makes you feel happy that you are doing good for the nature and you can harvest your own seeds so these are starting to form pods as well they are not as thick as the red ones so i need to let them go for a little longer once they are nice and warm and then i can harvest some pods for my eating and i can let some pods to dry so i can harvest these seeds Here I have got another crop planter where I put the mint and my plan is to move this planter in the greenhouse during winter months and this is the round planter where I have got my pumpkin plants. I started with four pumpkin plants maybe I crammed too much in there but let's see how they go and here is a row of my planters where I have got my tomato plants. These are gardener delights yellow pear and sun gold orange and i like the taste of all of them last year so i decided to grow them in these containers with these obelisks around them these are indeterminate varieties which mean they keep growing throughout the summer and so far they are nice and tamed in these obelisks and let's see how they go they have got some baby fruit on them and looks good so here is my planter with kiwi plant in it which i'm trying to train up this obelisk this year it has got lots of growth going on and i keep trying to train it this young shoot around these poles of obelisk and it is doing good so far underneath i planted it with fancy plants for an extra show and color it is good for pollinators and here i have spotted a bud of kiwi flower so hopefully if it opens and bears of food we can taste to see how it tastes and this is hardy kiwi wine so it's not the normal one which you get from supermarkets it's small berries which you can eat directly and let's see how it tastes and how it goes i have got a full video on growing this kiwi wine so i will include the link in the description box next to it i have got another planter with apricot tree in it and i planted pansy around it and spring onions so i seeded spring onions and then i forgot and after a few weeks i planted pansies and now everything is growing which is good anyway and this apricot tree is looking good and hopefully it will bear fruit in next year maybe year after next year but it is looking good and i want to include as much as fruit trees i can in my garden these are small 
self fertile warp varieties which can be grown in containers and we are very cold and moist here so watering is not an issue for us here but in dry climates watering could be a task in containers especially so you may need to figure out some irrigation system for them here is my recently planted bed where i planted my apple tree which i started from seed it is in its third year and it is growing well let's see how far and big it can grow i planted uh, cornflowers around it fences foxgloves and hollyhocks at the back so it is growing as i expected it to be next to my compost bin and soon it will look good with all the flowers and cover the fence on this side on the other side of the compost bin i have got a few more planters here is my jasmine vine which i'm trying to train up this fence so it grows as a climber and it could cover the fence so it will be nice to look at during the winter months it's an evergreen and here is uh, another planter with more pansy plants and there are some more pepper plants and another crop planter with strawberry plants and in the corner planter i have got my blueberry bush which is not looking good this year i think it's struggling with nutrition deficiency i have been feeding it with ergaceous feed but i think that's not enough uh, it has got some blooms and some fruit but it's really struggling i planted uh, another clamber which is uh, clematis montana at the back so i want this fence to be all covered with nice blooms with all year round interest and in the greenhouse i have got lots of plants going on i have two fabric raised beds in one i have got tomatoes two more varieties of tomatoes it's tiny tim at the front and uh, beef steak tomatoes at the back it is loaded with blooms and hopefully we will get a good harvest of tomatoes these tiny tim tomatoes are determinate so they stay fairly small and these beef steak tomatoes are in semi determinate so they keep producing but they do not get very big and in the other fabric raised bed i have got lots of potato plants and they are doing really well so we'll be harvesting potatoes towards the end of june in early july and i left a spinach plant to collect some seeds so that you can see at the back it has got flower stalks which are turning into seeds my calamandan orange tree at the back it has got few fruit on it but it is producing more flower buds so this calamandan orange tree is doing fine but come pottery is not doing good so i need to take it out from here and see what's the problem more tomato plants in the containers these are tom tumblers i guess and they are loaded with blossom as well and actually there are some fruit so green tomatoes i have got there so a few more egg plants and pepper plants and i'm just doing the experiment growing some of the peppers and egg plants in the greenhouse and some outside because greenhouse stays warmer than outside environment and much drier because outside it's cooler is moist and these crops do not like too much moisture or cool weather so hopefully uh, it it will give me a good idea of how to get better harvest of these plants i really like to grow at plants and peppers but sometimes they do not perform for me so i'm just experimenting i have got some snapdragon seedlings going on some sweet corn seedlings rubecchias petunias which i still need to plant so lots of seedlings still waiting to be planted and everything is looking nice and i'm quite happy with how the things have turned out the garden is filling itself really well and every year now i have to do less work to fill the garden as it is getting mature i started this garden from scratch and i do like to grow things from seed and i take cuttings to propagate plants so i can fill my garden on a budget and if you want you can check out my channel and i have got lots of videos on how to grow things from seeds vegetables and flowers with time lapse so it gives you an idea how plants look like at different stages of their growth these are verbena plants so i have got them for first time and gardening is about learning every year every year you learn more about plants more about how you can grow better food and how you can make your garden look much beautiful and i think it's all about learning and experimenting so i hope you enjoyed watching this quick tour of my backyard garden which is mostly vegetables and flowers and fruit bushes
now i'm going to plant my scabious seedlings in this container i have got one already in there which was a bit hard so it was uh, getting cramped in its small uh, seedling tray so i have got more going on here and i'm going to plant them in this container i really like growing scabiosa i do it first time last year and it was really really beautiful so i think this is a must plant for my garden every year from now on if i could i will incorporate it in my french yard garden as well and it is a really pretty cut flower as well and it has excellent base life even when the flowers are done the seed pods look nice and beautiful and i will recommend growing scabiosa if you haven't done it before it's time to harvest strawberries now as i showed you i have got lots and lots of strawberries going on and we are harvesting nearly pound every day and i'm giving them as a gift to my friends and family and we are munching on them all day so i am really proud of my strawberry harvest this year i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye